In purely instrumental terms, Mozart made his final statement in his last symphony. His Jupiter in blazing C major. It was written during that stunning surge of creativity in 1788, the year his baby daughter died. This last movement is a monumental work, and it begins with what sounds for all the world like a fugue subject. But as it continues, you realize that this layering of motifs, this fugal style, is just one of many different concepts that Mozart has completely mastered and moved beyond. He's working at so much deeper a level of complexity in terms of instrumental color and orchestral texture. And even though this symphony is his last, it's not an end point. For Mozart, there are no dead ends. It's as if he's bursting the door wide open on a whole new world of possibility. Mozart's no longer writing in the way that his predecessors had done, out of a sense of practical obligation and necessity, but rather out of a deep sense of spiritual need. For that reason, I believe Mozart is the first great romantic composer. Much more than just a fulcrum between the 18th and 19th centuries, I think these last three symphonies take us beyond what even Beethoven achieved. The Jupiter could be seen as the culmination of everything he ever wrote. My dear brother-in-law was now so ill, and my sister was beside herself. I went into the city every day to visit him. And that Saturday afternoon, he told me he was feeling much better and would be coming to visit our mother on her birthday. The following day, I decided to stay at home. After all, he seemed on the mend. It was dark and cold that December afternoon. Such a strange feeling came over me. I couldn't get Wolfgang out of my head. And I knew I must leave immediately.
One of the last things he told us that night was how bitterly he regretted leaving us, his wife and children, without being properly provided for. Why now? He asked me. Why do I have to go now? When I'm no longer a slave to fashion. No longer chained by speculators. When I can compose freely and independently whatever my heart dictates. Mozart died in the early hours of Monday the 5th of December, 1791. He was 35. And the widespread acclaim that he'd sought throughout his life only came after his death. His works were more widely published, performed and loved than he'd ever dreamt of during his lifetime. As for Constanza, she was overcome with grief. It was many years before she could bring herself to visit his burial place. In the years that followed Mozart's death, it was Constanza who ensured that her husband's name lived on publishing his scores and organizing a series of benefit concerts throughout Central Europe. For me, his unerring instinct for what it is to be human, coupled with his extreme virtuosity as a creative artist, these are the reasons why Mozart is music. <laughs> 